knew something was seriously wrong and I kind of drove home in a panic attack and my worst nightmare came true. Tonight we're hearing from people who lost everything in an apartment fire. A text message from the Red Cross is how that young man you just heard from found out that something horrible had happened to his unit. We're getting an up-close look inside the damage left behind from that fire. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I'm John Evans. I'm Francis Weller. You can see here how people's apartments are gutted and their belongings reduced to piles of ash. Flames sparked in a room near the top of one building at the Village Green Apartments near UNCW. It caught the roof on fire and then tore through the building. Everyone was able to get out and no one was seriously hurt. WECT's Raina Crooms is live at that scene. Raina, have investigators been able to find out more about how this started? Right now, fire officials are only telling me that the fire was accidental, but we do know that the fire started on the third floor utility room. People up there saw the worst of the damage and lost almost everything. You could see and smell the smoke a mile away. So I round the corner and as soon as I do, I see that the apartment across the street from mine is on fire. Uh, it is hot, it is blazing, there's like four or five different police cars. Nearby residents knew something was on fire. A building in Village Green Apartments. It started around 9 Tuesday morning. Jake Unman, who lives there, was sitting in class at Cape Fear Community College when he found out his apartment was on fire. I looked at my phone and there was a uh, text message from the Red Cross saying, uh, they, how they could compensate for my loss. And I knew something was seriously wrong. He raced home. I drove home in a panic attack and my worst nightmare came true when I saw this yellow tape and stuff around and I knew something terrible would happen and I walked up and just saw the whole top half of the building burnt off right where my apartment was. Unman's apartment is close to the utility room where the fire started. A lot of the ceilings have collapsed in. Um, there's just drywall and stuff all over the place. A lot of water from when they were spraying, ash. Anything that's like clothes or fabric is toast, completely ruined. While he lost all of his clothes, Unman was able to salvage something near and dear to his heart. I collect a lot of those historical artifacts and preserve them. So as soon as I heard there was a fire, I was most worried about that stuff getting burned over my personal belongings. I, I was terrified. Unman is staying with friends until he finds a new place to live. And neighbors say they hope everyone impacted finds relief soon. Definitely feel for the people who have lost their home. Um, no one expects that this will happen. The fire department says the fire was accidental. Utilities in the building have been shut off and no other buildings in this complex have been impacted. Reporting in Wilmington, Rena Crooms, WECT News. One of Wilmington's most well-known breweries is turning off the taps. New Anthem.